So I have Earthquake from ZBrush as a sample model. Um, I've exported the texture maps and the normal apps, and I have a an AI standard uh, Arnold material on the model. So I just want to show you what happens when you go to load under geometry. Let's find geometry again. Geometry and then load a normal map in Arnold 5, Maya 2018.5. So typically you just go to load a file. You want to, once it jumps to a file, you want to set the um, space use as under 2D bump to tangent space. And you click on, so from bump to tangent space, and you click on the little node option here to load the file. So I will find my little map here. Open that up. And usually you'll get some odd loading issues right away. Um, if your normal maps are 16 bit, which they typically should be, you'll have to switch under where the image is loaded, switch this from sRGB to raw. And you'll see this will improve the appearance of the normal map. Now I'm just using the, uh, instead of viewport 2.0 Arnold rendering system, I'm gonna hit uh, the playback button and we should see this render live in the viewport. Uh, I'm working on a laptop as well, so this might be a little slow to render. Now, sometimes you get uh, visible seams. This can vary depending on the software. So ZBrush, I think, orients the colors a certain way for normal maps. And there's an easy fix for this inside of Arnold. So I'm going to just stop this uh, preview render. And I'm going to launch the hypershade. So that's this little spherical icon with a white dot. So inside Hypershade, I have the uh, Arnold material, so I'm going to highlight it here. And if you move over, you'll see this little uh, icon. So what that shows you is pretty much the full chain of um, input and output nodes or connections on the material. So here I've got the uh, normal map is right here, and the color map is above it. So you can sort of see the uh, entire layout of everything in that material. So I'm going to just select all these and hit F to frame it. So we see how um, basically it, it sort of loads the UV coordinates for the image and then how that inputs into the main material. So for the bump um, with Arnold, it's typically better to use a different type of normal map. So I'm gonna just delete those nodes and scroll down to geometry. Um, what's often better to do is go into this little floating window uh, on the left-hand side. Um, and you can go type in under the search option, normal, for normal map, we don't want normalize, but normal map. So it's AI normal map, which is the node we want. And we'll plug in the uh, output value into the normal camera. And if we click on this, the input over here, we'll click on that little checker and we'll select our regular file type again. So I'm gonna just load the, the TIFF uh, that I have, the 16 bit TIFF. Uh, by the way, if you want to favorite any of these things, you can always right click and say add to favorite. So I'm over here on this uh, left hand side, you can right click and add that to favorite. So I've now started adding little things to favorites here. So those things will pop up really quickly. And if you want to see all your materials again, just go into this little box and delete that uh, search string and it should allow you to see all the other materials or nodes. So I'll just minimize this window and we'll hit render again. And we may still see some seams on this thing. So let it load and you're seeing the seams again. So I remember every time you load a, a displacement or a normal map, you often typically have to switch from sRGB color space to raw. So switch it there and it should update the render in a second. Yeah, it's a little slow on my laptop. So the rendering looks pretty good. Um, we're still having some seam issues. So normal maps basically work on four colors. Uh, each color represents a certain direction uh, that the object is pointing in. So sometimes to fix these issues, um, this is where the AI normal map node comes in handy. You can actually flip or invert the directions of these things. Um, so you can try invert X. And in this case, it, it fixes the issue while maintaining some of those finer details. 
You can try invert y as well. Um, I don't believe that's the correct fix, but you can sort of see which one looks better. I'd have to double check actually the documentation in Arnold as well to see which one is the correct one to invert, but I think this one's correct here. So um, again, everything looks good. We're in tangent space, which is a very typical style null map for Arnold rendering. Um, and if you want to see what this looks like without the null map, you'll sort of see this mesh on its own. You can go back to your um, to the hypershade editor and then just uh, select the connection there and hit the delete key. And so we'll see, you know, this is kind of our before and after. So I'll just hit undo. Hopefully that'll reload. So that's just a quick way to uh, set up normal maps in Arnold.